Survivor Bowl Backyard 2014, <laughs> Season 9, Tough Choices. How's everyone feeling? Good. Good. Sarah, Sleepy. nine years. What's going through your mind right now? Right, so Hannah, there's a lot of new faces. What do you think about all our new players? I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get their names right. <laughs> <laughs> right. So Matt, you were last year's winner. How much of a target do you think you have on your back? Uh, I don't think I'm going to be much of a threat, but I'm still definitely going to, people are definitely not going to want me to get far at all. Okay. Yeah, a lot anyone, of mad people. If you've won before, raise your hand. So winners, do you think you have a target just because you're a winner, Abby? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Elizabeth, you're coming to the game with two other sisters. Do you think it's a benefit to be in a legitimate relationship with somebody, or is it going to be a bigger target for you? I think if I make it to the merge, it's going to make us all, if we all make it to the merge, it's going to make us a target to get out right away. But for right now, I think it's fine. Okay. And Liz, you're playing with your fiance. Do you think that's going to be a target, or do you think... <laughs> We're on different teams, so that helps, but I don't know. We can kind of... They care a lot and be competitive with each other. Okay. So I think most people see them. Alright, so Michael, brand new player, no <coughs> targets on your back, but again, you have no experience. So, <laughs> think it's better to be a brand new player, or do you think it's going to be harder for you? Um, it depends, because I don't have the relationships that everyone else has coming into the game. So, I mean, there's a target right there. It could be an easy out, but I don't know. Then again, I don't have history with anyone. I've never backstabbed or lied to anyone, so <laughs> keep that in mind. All right, so when you got here, you picked a number, and we put it onto two teams. The purple team, your team name is Volpar, and the green team, you're Droda. So Sarah, size up the two teams. Which team do you think is going to be better off? Our team? Yeah. 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 Good answer. All right, Jamie, what do you think about the two teams? Well, I just got here, so I don't know yet. <laughs> all right, well... Again, I want to welcome you all to Survivor Backyard Tough Choices. This is going to be a very fun, crazy year. First of all, as you already know, there's 16 people, which is the most we've ever had playing. So just so you know, to have a majority for Tribal Council, you need to have five people, which is more than you've ever had. It's going to be a lot of room for different things, backstabs. I'm sure there will be a ton of them. Um, a couple of things you should know. First of all, the survival aspect of the game will be somewhat more difficult. For one thing, you have less food and more people on your team. So that's going to be something that's going to be apparent when you're outside all day competing in challenges, sitting bored at camp. Also, as you know, the mosquitoes are horrible. You're going to be back at camp. It's not going to be a fun place to be. So you're just going to have to deal with it. But a couple of things I can tell you is, first of all, you're all individual players in this game. There's no two people working as one, no half team at one camp, half at the other. These are your two teams. They're going to be your teams for a while, so get used to it. Also, there's no Exile Island, and there's no kidnapping of players from the opposite team. So really, you will be with these teams for almost the entire game. So get ready for that. Um, but however, there are still hidden idols in the game. If you find a hidden idol, play after the votes are cast, but before they're read. Some people are really good at playing idols. You can ask Jamie. Other people, <laughs> not so much. If you ask Abby. <laughs> so, uh, so again, idols could be anywhere in the game. All I'll tell you is that there are three hidden idols hidden throughout this game. So it's up for you to find them. As you can probably guess, a lot of the clues are going to pop up through the tough choices. Because throughout the game this year, there will be many tough choices. Some of them will be made just by you. Other tough choices will be made by the entire team. There's no denying the fact that sometimes you're going to have to stand out, and it could be for the better of your game or for the worse of your game. And of course, there's tons of twists, turns, and more things that you've never seen before. So you have to be ready to adapt your game in a moment's notice. So, are there any questions before we get to anything? All right, so when you chose your number, you made your first tough choice. However, one of you is going to be making the first tough choice based on the luck of the dice. I'm going to roll these three dice, and we're going to add them up. If it equals your number, you have a very tough choice to make right at the beginning of the game. So you can hold your number out so you can see. So you have three, six. You have number six. You can step forward. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Rachel, you're going to make our first tough choice. So throughout the game, oh, there's two different aspects. The first is the individual aspect, because only one person wins this game. But at the same time, you need to have some type of team or you can't win. So all the tough choices are about whether you are selfless or if you are selfish. So here's your first choice. You can be selfless or selfish. Sorry, selfish. If you're selfish, you will receive immunity for the first tribal council. All this means, you won't be the first person voted out of this game. So if your team wins the challenge, doesn't do anything, but if you lose, you sit over there and you know you're not going home. 
You also get a clue to the hidden idol. So you'll have a ton of power, but your team will go to the worst of the two camps. I assure you it's worse. And your team will go back with less food than the other team. Option number two, you can be selfless and go for the entire team. If you choose that, you give up the immunity. The entire team gets a clue to the hidden idol. You get the box with more food, and you'll go to the better of the two camps. So it's up to you. Do you want to be selfish? Selfish, or do you want to be selfish? There's one of you, seven of us. <laughs> <laughs> Remember that. Um, okay, well, it makes it, here's immunity. So you can I have this around your neck and you know that. This isn't the actual idol, this is just for the first one. Oh, it's just this is for the first one. Oh my gosh, I'm not so <laughs> So you're going to be selfish and you go for the team? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. This is included in idol. Don't read it yet. You have to read it back when you get back to your entire camp. And nobody gets this, which means all 16 of you are vulnerable to be the first person voting out this game. And as you know, there's very few reward challenges this year, so every single challenge is going to be pretty much for immunity. Someone will be voted out if you lose. So I will be bringing your boxes of stuff back in a second, but you guys are going to the better of the two camps. So right over there, uh, that pine tree is a piece of orange tape. You'll follow it back and just keep following until you see the trees. There'll be like two pieces of orange tape on a tree. That's where you stay behind that. That's your campsite. Full part, you are going over here. You're going to see it. It's right. I'll show it to you in a second. It's kind of hard to see, but it's over there. And then you kind of hang off that way. So you guys can head back to your camps. You can leave your numbers here, throw them away, whatever you want to do. Head off to camp and we'll see you in a second. And then 